Welcome to Upton's TV. Ben and I have come out to Talgay State Forest. I do want to show you, there's this rocky outcrop up here. And this is why we, we've only come 100 metres up the road here, but there's a rocky outcrop here. And there's some old uh, Chinese workings down the bottom here. We uh, just had a couple of, we're here at the, in Warwick and there's the old Chinese diggings down here, we'll show them to you in a minute, but the reason I like this spot is that the, the old Chinese diggings are along here and you can see that rock that's down through there, so that's the rock bottom, so this ground here is very very shallow, so I've just had a bit of a detect up this bank here and I got a signal Oh, about three or four meters away and I dug it, I dug it and there's a uh, looks like a 22 bullet that I dug up then I waved the detector over it and I found this rock it was still giving me a signal I found this rock so we'll just give it a bit of a clean up and we'll have a look at it here Could be just a hot rock, but uh, it's certainly a bit of quartz. The look of it, heavily mineralised bit of quartz. Yeah, I can't see anything in it, but well, I'll have to take it back to camp and give it a big, a bit of a crush up. So, just a little bit of quartz like that. So we'll have a look at it when we get back to camp. And we'll. Uh, give it a good clean and maybe we need to crush it up because so, it's giving a really good signal on the detector Hey. okay I just uh, come across uh, we've actually just moved up from some less mineralized ground where some of the old mines were up to some really red mineralized ground now this plays pav havoc with the probe pointers because what happens is no matter where you put it in the ground it gives you a signal but um, one of the things I didn't know about the probe pointer until uh, a couple of months ago, but is you can actually tune that out. So if you just turn it off and back on straight away, it's perfectly silent. So you can actually chase the target that you're looking for. So it's always good just to chase the target and not have all the background noise. So this is the Thanes Creek Fossil King area. Now, this uh, this area was sort of discovered in um, in uh, you know, the 1870s, um, and there was thousands of blokes along this whole area of creek, stretched for about four kilometres, um, the, the the gold bearing area, and uh, yeah, I can just imagine thousands of blokes. There was no township as such. There's just thousands of blokes camped along this creek and uh, we're actually in the Thanes Creek Fossil King area um, and uh, at one stage this was one of only one, three or four of, in um, South East Queensland um, Fossil King areas. Um, so this, this place got fairly heavily worked over, uh, over. but uh, the, uh, with the advent of uh, Talgai uh, the opening of Talgai State Forest, um, which is directly behind me actually, um, and Jurakai, um, that's given us a lot more areas to prospect in. But that's Thangs Creek, um, Fossil King area, a few cows down there, you got to share your water with the cows uh, when you're doing your panning. But mostly, this area is mostly really fine gold, so you need your pan out here. Um, and in those rocky gravels you can see down the bottom there. So. 